How do you take care of a weak lamb that you suspect has white muscle disease? I'll tell you the story of how we did it. And I'm Natalie Lucier from Waykeeper Farm and Nerdery. And we recently had one of our ewes lamb overnight. I just heard a little bang when I approached the barn and I knew, ooh, the lambs were here. So I quickly opened the stall and they were so adorable as young lambs always are. And immediately, you know, gave some food to the mom and just checked everything looked good. And one of the things I always do obviously is to clean up the umbilical cords and make sure everything is good there. And I quickly noticed that one of the lambs was very, very weak. So he was sleeping and he wasn't super alert. And the other one was up and about walking and just maying and following me and her mom. And I knew there was something that was a little bit off with the weaker lamb. So the first thing we worked on was to get the lamb to latch on and drink some milk from mom or colostrum actually is what they have in the first 24 hours. And he was drinking, but not a whole lot. And it just didn't feel like he would even able to stand up. So when we tried to stand him up, we immediately noticed that he had that arch back look, which is a symptom of white muscle disease. And white muscle disease is a skeletal and cardiac issue that can happen when a lamb or even an adult sheep has a lack of selenium and vitamin E. So in our case, we didn't have any selenium and vitamin E shots on hand, so we quickly went to the store to buy some and get ready to give him a little injection. We also warmed him up, put him in a blanket, and it just kind of kept him cozy because he did seem to be shaking a little bit more than his sister. We also tried to get him to drink more milk and just make sure that he had all the colostrum he could get. At this point, he wasn't really drinking a lot, so we also thawed some out from what we had saved from the previous year, and we tried to give him some in a bottle, and he just wasn't drinking much. So we just brought him back to the house and got him settled on the floor, and then that's when we gave him his selenium and vitamin E shot. And definitely make sure to read the labels on all of those, but I think that was very instrumental in helping him get better. Now, the other thing we read about is giving them a drench of apple cider vinegar and water. So we decided to go ahead and do that too, just because we felt like he wasn't really drinking and his digestion was probably not very good. So we went ahead and did a drench, which was five milliliters apple cider vinegar and five milliliters water mixed together. And so that was warm-ish water <laughs> mixed with the apple cider vinegar. And then we drenched that. So you can see we used uh, a mouth syringe essentially, and then we gently, very gently, put it in his mouth until he could swallow it bit by bit. You know, we weren't trying to choke him or make it go fast or anything. We just wanted to make sure he absorbed it properly. And what we noticed is that after we gave him that drench, he started to process a little bit better and drink a little bit more milk too. So I think the combination of the shot and the apple cider vinegar really helped him get back on track. Um, and so we kept trying to give him more milk from a bottle. And then we also milked his mom on the stand and we were able to give him some of that fresh mom's milk, which I think helped as well. And what we ended up doing is we kept him in the house. We made him practice standing up and walking around and he did start to turn around soon enough. Um, we also gave him a second drench the next day of the apple cider vinegar and water mix. And uh, again, just five milliliters each total of 10 milliliters of a drench. And that really made a huge difference. Just keeping him warm, giving him those extras of that selenium and vitamin E, and then that drench of apple cider vinegar water, and just making sure that he practiced standing up. So we would make him walk around and every time he would get up, usually he would pee, we would wipe that up. And then obviously the kids really enjoyed having a little lamb in the house, but that kind of kept him on his toes. He also slept a whole lot in those first few days. and we just made sure that he would get up to poo and do all those things and he didn't just sleep all day. Um, but yeah, he was a great little lamb. He is back on track now when he stands up. He no longer has that arch back, which I think is a great sign that he's back on track. And we put him back with his mom and sister in the barn now and he's even nibbling a little bit on some hay in there and he drinks milk. Um, now, you know, he does latch back onto mom, but we also still supplement with some bottle feeding just to make sure that he's getting enough because in particular, this mom is not a huge fan of having her babies drink milk directly from her. She actually prefers getting milk on the stand and then we bottle feed the babies. So it's not the best situation, but for this particular you, she had the same issue last year and she also lost 
the lamb last year that was a little bit of a weaker lamb. So I think it's an issue with, you know, the way that we're trying to um, feed her. You know, there's definitely something missing in her diet. And that's, I think, why he had these issues. And then also beyond that, he was the bigger lamb. And that's one thing that I've noticed is that the bigger lambs tend to need more selenium and vitamin E. And that is why I think he had this issue. So he was born at nine pounds and his sister was seven pounds. And the sister is now, I think, at 11 or 12 pounds and he's caught up at 11 pounds as well. So it's cool to see them both growing up and playing together now that he's back on track and has full energy and full mobility again. And, you know, I am absolutely not a vet, so definitely feel free to reach out to your vet if you encounter any of these issues. But I do know that just knowing anecdotally what has worked for someone else can be really helpful for these issues. And especially you want to deal with it as quickly as possible when you notice these problems because you don't want it to linger and you don't want the issues to continue to lead to potential death in your lambs. <laughs> so definitely take it to heart. Do your own research on the right selenium and vitamin E products. There are also some fast action pastes that you can feed. And there's also different brands for giving the injections as well. So this has been our experience on treating a weak lamb. And if you want to find out more about how to get ready for lambing season and what to have on hand, then make sure to watch my next video all about that right here. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel because I've got more great content all about lambs, sheep's milk, and having a dairy sheep homestead.